I saw the color of the smoke and the ominous nature of it. I did not want it to be in any path of the smoke that's coming out of the ship there. Smoke filled the air above St. Simon's Sound this afternoon as this cargo ship already at the center of attention after it capsized in 2019 caught fire. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Heather Crawford and I'm Anthony Austin on your size. Robert Bradfield has been there all afternoon watching crews as they worked on the fire. So Robert what's the latest at this hour. Well, in developing here tonight, we did hear just recently at least two explosions coming from this ship. However, we have not seen any aftermath from that, including any additional fire or smoke. But it does appear from our vantage point, the tugboat specifically are working to right this ship, correcting the listing or leaning we saw earlier. The Golden Ray up in smoke for much of the day, catching the attention of onlookers, including Kenneth Carroll. It started about 12:15. I got here and couldn't believe my eyes. That was an explosion, by the way. We heard two explosions during our interview with Carroll. The Coast Guard says there were no injuries. Concern is going to grow as far as what this fire is doing. The cargo ship was being cut up and removed from St. Simon Sound when the Coast Guard says a fire started during that process. Everybody goes home okay, that's all right. Frankie Bulford started a live feed of the cleanup months ago with his cameras capturing Friday's fire. He was one of dozens of people taking pictures, recording their own memories of what happened. He's paying close attention to any environmental impact, which the Coast Guard calls minimal because the fire was high enough on the ship and the fire rescue boats were using water from the sound. They're doing as best they can, as safely as they can. And back out here live tonight, we're going to leave you with this live picture and also tell you the Coast Guard says it will be out here until this fire is out. But again, we cannot see any more flames. There are a few water cannon vessels that you can see from this picture as well, continuing to put out hot spots. And we will continue to follow this latest developing story for you, both on air and online. We are live tonight in St. Simon Sound. Robert Bradfield, First Coast News on your side. Robert, thank you. And I spoke with maritime expert Rod Sullivan tonight, and he told me while this is not the first fire since this ship capsized, it's definitely the most significant and it will slow down the salvage operations. Right now the hull is hot. They're going to have to cool down the hull and they're going to have to figure out how they can resume cutting without again having another fire start. They're also going to have to clean up any oil that might have spilled into the into the water and gotten caught by the environmental protection barrier and that is going to require a skimmer and, and some kind of work. Now the Coast Guard telling us no one was injured in this fire today. Rod Sullivan expects it will be a few days before salvage operations can resume. And we will, of course, continue to follow developments throughout the night. So be sure to keep track of it on our First Coast News app and website.